Hello folks. So uh, there's been some interest in the uh, uh, direct digital synthesis for a, uh, for a for a Cobra 148 and so I've gotten uh, I already had this one I already talked about this particular uh, uh, module um, it's just a adapter on it but uh, I already talked about this one and you know these things they work uh, I had somebody uh, send me a message and ask me why uh, uh, you know why you know bother going to uh, to China and getting these uh, these boards and just roll your own well it's a whole lot easier for me to go to China and get this thing already made and I can uh, you know bodge theirs and I don't have to go and uh, and get my own board done you know and then wait for that you know because you know depending on who I use I mean I can get boards in a week or I can get boards in a month uh, depending on how much I'm willing to spend for that and this is a hobby project so of course my uh, budget for stuff like this isn't very high so I got one of um, one of these and uh, it already came I mean it's a very poor soldering I mean I had I have to go through this and clean some of it up it's quite bad uh, has a square and two signs um, just different filtering on the signs I mean it's okay it's good enough for me to to, to to sort of screw around with so um, that's pretty much what I've been doing with these um, and then I got one of the um, oh, this is a um, uh, 8934 I believe um, I'm pretty sure that's what this is I can't really read it yeah it's an 8934 you know these things they they actually for what they are they actually work uh, remarkably well. I've, I've been quite surprised with it. Um, and of course, this is an 809851. And this thing, they just came um, on this little board, you know, that you stuff into a breadboard. Um, which, you know, if you're going to generate some uh, low frequency stuff, that's really not that big of a deal. But um, what I'm doing with it's probably a little bit, uh, uh, you know, not, not in the cards, really. Um, has a 30 megahertz clock on it. Now I can probably clock this thing anything I want. Now, um, <clears throat> of course, my um, uh, you know ne next prototype is is, is here. Um, you know, and the only thing that I've really done uh, uh, done here is I got microcontroller. Um, this is just a little a little power supply um, display. Obviously, these two encoders. Um, they don't really do anything as yet. Um, just sort of um, monkeying around with it. I haven't I haven't uh, had too much of a chance to um, uh, to to sort of make all this really work in a radio yet. I've been just more or less you know f trying to figure out which one of these uh, um, <clears throat> direct digital synthesis uh, ICs is going to work the best. Um, hence, you know, getting boards and, and, and fiddling around with it and trying it out. But, because no, almost none of these boards do what I want them to do, I'm kind of at a point where I just have to make my own board because, I mean, these things, I mean, they work. And yeah, I get it, but they have they, they a poor filtering or just uh, a poor design or, uh, you know, just, I mean, for the frequencies I want to generate, they're just not going to really work very well for me to, uh, to fiddle fart around with this, so... Um, I'm thinking that what I need to do is, and I'll probably do this later if I get a chance, I'm going to sit down an eagle and I'm going to throw all the stuff together and I'm just going to get a board uh, uh, done and uh, get it in a month and, um, you know, do all of my bodging on my own thing because at least my own thing is going to be as close to what I think it needs to be as possible. Um, so, you know, 34 megahertz just right out of a pin into a breadboard is so really not in the cards. So, you know, uh, and that and that is kind of the goal at this point. I'm just going to stuff a new um, uh, bypass the PLL on the radio and just stuff it right in and see what happens. Um, and I've got a pile of this um, uh, coaxial cable that's of course intended for doing stuff like that. And uh, you know, so um, you know, I just uh, broke out a roll that I've got. Um, again, um, you know, this is one of those. Um, uh, Alibaba, uh, Alibaba, or uh, AliExpress kind of things. You can get a lot of good stuff on there, and get a lot of just rubbish too. Uh, of course, coax. You know, you can buy a 
you know, 10 meters of the stuff for like five bucks or something like that. So you can get quite a bit of it um, relatively cheap. And, and of course, you'd take this kind of a cable and, um, you know, you'd have pads on the board for this. Uh, and there's a way to do that where you draw your pads and then you, your coax, um, uh, you put your coax directly on the board. And this way you don't have a connector. Um, uh, you know, an SMA or anything like that, because when you think about this, these SMAs, I mean, first of all, they take up space. Second, they're actually not that cheap. So, um, you know, the other option is um, uh, is those little ones, and I'm trying to remember what they are. They're kind of flat, um, and I know you can get those connectors um, and, and some cable assemblies, but um, it, you know, th I think this is this is going to be you know just fine and. Um, you just uh, you know have your uh, you know board the cable and then you uh, strip this back and then into your into your radio you go and you're gonna have that more or less shielded so that you don't get uh, any more um, you know crud that you need to in there. Um, not entirely sure if because of the the radio um, it, it's you know it's um, 33 34ish megahertz uh, or 35 megahertz. Um, that the um, uh, the internal uh, VCO puts out, uh, and then that's um, mixed in with a, a seven uh, megahertz, seven point eight, or, or uh, varying frequency, um, uh, another uh, signal, and then you know your uh, end result twenty seven ish megahertz. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to have to shield uh, the board at all uh, because some of these radios have put out you know five ten watts. So, you know, you don't want any of that stuff getting back into this thing. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, it's just a whole bunch of thoughts. And, of course, the, um, uh, the, uh, on this thing here, the only thing I've really sort of screwed around with is the little, the little Roger B, you know, bit of it that's just, you know, PWM stuff. Um, I've got the, uh, the encoders working, um, one of them is the uh, is going to be the uh, voice lock replacement, um, you know, or clarifier, or whatever, writ, whatever you feel like calling it. Um, and um, right now, I've got on the display here that I'm sending this thing a. Uh, uh, let's just reset this thing. Uh, 34 megahertz, um, telling this to output 34 megahertz, and um, scope says it's 30 point 34.0003. Uh, frequency counter says something different, of course. Uh, 34.000216. Um, and the frequency counter, of course, is the thing that I trust because that's, um, uh, that's got a, the frequency counters in here, they have a, uh, GPS discipline oscillator behind them. So, uh, I know that those are, um, those are right. And, of course, this just sort of drifts around a little bit. I mean, it's not perfect. They're um, a 30 megahertz um, uh, oscillator is it's probably drifting around, you know, based on uh, on temperature. I could probably just, you know, fool around with that a little bit and just get an iron, you know, warmed up right quick and just sort of, you know, hold the iron reasonably close to it and um, see what it does. You know, not touching it, but. Uh, and of course the frequency is going down um, so uh, yeah and it's going down quite rapidly now so as this as as I heat this up the um, what's happening in here is the uh, the frequency in the oscillator is going up so the uh, uh, result and output frequency is going down so um, <coughs> don't need the iron so you know the 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 um, uh, the reference uh, oscillator is is going to be somewhat important on this, you know. So um, I don't. I'm I'm trying to figure out what I wanted to figure out here is if I could drive this with the 16 or 20 megahertz um, uh, clock from the uh, AVR because there is a clock output on it. Now, can I? Um, can I, you know, because I mean, otherwise I'm going to have to have two references and I, uh, or you know, two um, uh, time bases, uh, or you know, a clock for that, and I'm going to have to have time base for this. I don't want to have 
two oscillators if I can avoid it. Um, because I was able to, um, on this particular uh, uh, variant, I was able to get, a, no it wasn't this one, it was, um, it was this one that was slightly smaller. Um, I was able to get away with this because what I was doing with one with the with the sub uh, a microcontroller is I was generating because the sub microcontroller on this was being used as a frequency counter, so I had a uh, you know three or five ppm um, uh, temperature controlled uh, uh, crystal oscillator on here, and so I was just taking the clock out from that to drive the other uh, microcontroller, the main microcontroller, because I mean I wasn't using it. So there's no reason that I couldn't take the other take the uh the clock out and and drive the other microcontroller this way I don't need to have two clock sources. So I'm trying to figure out is whether or not I can do it with this and I'm pretty sure I can cuz I mean the frequency tuning in this is just all uh you know it's a 32-bit um uh register a 40-bit register 32 bits of it are the, are the uh, tuning word um and I forget what that, uh, what the what kind of steps you get in hertz in that, um, it, but it's a lot. Uh, it's it's pretty small. It's it, it's like uh, under a her, uh, under one hertz uh, resolution. Um, so if I was to um, to try to dial this in, thirty four point zero zero two zero, and unfortunately my encoder update rate on this particular encoder is not that fast. Um, because it was intend, I intended to this this particular one to be the um, uh, the clarifier or, or the um, clarifier rip voice lock, whatever you want to call it. So the speed of it isn't that fast, so that you can't go in there and just gun the thing. Um, so I um, I've got the update rate on this one slower. The timers that pull this is slower than the timers that pull the other one. Um, I probably should just time set them to the same timer and move on with life. Um, but uh, I can essentially and probably dial this right into 34 megahertz. And uh, uh, you know, like the display on here says 33.999858, and I'm getting reasonably close to um, uh, 34 megahertz on the dot out of the uh, DDS. Um, it's just the encoder is just taking its sweet time to get there <clears throat> so I'll have to I'll have to rethink that really uh, so let's see what we stabilize at uh, 34.000041 so getting getting there getting there just go down a little bit more let's see what we stabilize at 34.000017 so I should be able to dial this right in um, within the reason of the uh, the onboard uh, time base. Of course, you know that is, is kind of the unknown because I I don't even know what it is. I mean, it's just this is a Chinese board, so I have no idea what in the world it is. I went too far because uh, now we're at 33 in all nines. So 34.000001. Zero, 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 so that's not terrible at all actually uh, and if I go down by one uh, I'm still at uh, it's it's probably a little bit wonky down there um, but uh, yeah I can get it I mean I can get it reasonably close you know it's it's all it's gonna be all about the the the, the, uh, the reference on this thing um, there we go. Thirty-three point nine 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 nine. So yeah, thirty-four point zero 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 zero. It's yeah, it's 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 very good. Even with the uh, the, the the rubbish oscillator they got, it is drifting around. As I knock this around, I mean it's actually drifting around. Uh, I put my finger on it, and it has drifted up to. 34.000009 uh, nine and 8 and I take my finger off of it and yeah it's it's very sensitive um, just to being uh, moved around um, it's probably noise from the from, from the bench and the equipment and things like that I mean who knows but yes it's obviously very um, very state uh, uh, sensitive 
So I'm gonna have to take that in consideration. And it could just be their rubber circuit. I mean, I'm, I mean, look at what I'm doing here. I mean, this is the best thing in the world. You know, it's just a bunch of wires and <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's really, um, it, it, it's kind of a bodge, obviously. So, um, next thing I'm gonna do, like I said, is uh, uh, whack up some boards. And, um, you know, I'm gonna throw all this stuff in Eagle, whack up some boards, and uh, I'm gonna make a um, uh, sort of a, a reference design, if you will. Um, something that I can bodge up and uh, see what, um, you know, see where it takes me because I'm sure that once I throw all this stuff in, lay out a board, get it made, get it here, get it here, and then of course stuff it, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, probably not going to work. Uh, the only thing that I'm reluctant to about these 80, 90, 50 ones, now these little things may cost you, you know, $10 or $9 US from China, but this chip alone here in the States is going to cost me about like $27.50 or something like that. They're very expensive. These things are like gold. So I'm wondering and I'm, I'm really kind of looking at this thing as probably a knockoff because there's just no way that you can buy this for $10 and have that to be an authentic 809851. So that's another problem with this, this situation is I don't even know if I'm dealing with a really authentic 809851 and all of the just various issues that I've seen with this. Um, are caused by this being a friggin knockoff so that's another reason to um, uh, to get a board done and get the real deal and of course um, because of how much that chip costs you know I'm gonna pr I'll probably have to get a couple of them um, I'm gonna make sure that I don't pop it for one uh, the second is is that <clears throat> when I'm done with those boards the chips I'm gonna throw some chip wick on there and I'm gonna pull it off because it's an expensive part so, you know, and I've done that many a times, you know, expensive part, I'm going to pull it off. So <clears throat> anyway, guys, I hope that was interesting. Uh, progress has been made. Uh, just have to, um, you know, throw it together and see what I get. You know, I mean, at, at this point, I don't see why it wouldn't work, really, to be honest. Um, just, you know, I actually treat this like it's RF and... You're not, not DC like they are here and, and move on with life. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.